Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking. Four years ago, on the 31st of May, I wrote this paper. This paper shows the directions of matter flow in a Birkeland current. I wrote this because a double helix energy field rotates matter in, out, left and right. In the top picture I showed my original halo wave and how it links in forming a Birkeland current. If you look here you will see that my wave rolls back on itself and so the direction of flow is reversed. I then made this video which was about planetary z-pinch point formation and I showed that a vortex turns into a wave when it hits an energy or matter barrier and then rotates matter in and out uh, from all directions. And now of course NASA releases the first science results from the Parker Solar Probe. So let's go to the bit where they say the field and the flow reverses. The field's instrument surveyed the state of the solar wind by measuring and carefully analysing the electric and magnetic fields around the spacecraft changed over time, along with measuring waves in the nearby plasma. These measurements showed quick reversals in the magnetic field and sudden, fast-moving jets of material. All characteristics that make the solar wind more turbulent, none of that matters. Um, the fact that they're calling these switchbacks, where the um, energy and flow of matter and energy suddenly reverses. And so from what I have drawn on screen uh, compared to the switchbacks uh, that are being seen in space, it goes round one side of a wave and then out the other. Now double helix energy theory I have used on atoms, life, electricity, animals, rocks, explosions, and it always works. So. I've said there's a rolling wave in space, like water hitting a plate and making a rolling wave as it fills up. And that's what this is. The switchbacks is a wave fixed in space because it's an energy ring. It may also be rolling, but it's not a uh, static ring. It's a flowing ring, pretty much the same as this. Hello, now this is my video uh, called The Ouroboros Energy Field Explained from January 2017. Um, I'll play the video in a second. Uh, I have a tap pouring water into a plate. The plate starts to fill up and then a Ouroboros wing ring wave appears. This means that as the water pours in, around it, it reaches an energy or matter barrier and then must roll back on itself before rolling over and out. So let me just play it. So here I am feeding pieces of string into the Ouroboros field. This is the center of the ring where the water is pouring down from a tap above. This is the string being fed in. It's going to wind round inside the Ouroboros field because the Ouroboros field is two ways, one clockwise, one counterclockwise. And so they constantly hold something within the ring wave. And this is how planets are held in. But this is also, this ring wave, is a set of rings that are around the sun that the probe is now calling switchbacks. These are not switchbacks, this is where energy comes out, whips around, stops, oh sorry, moves sideways and then is pulled over the top exactly the same as a water wave. And so here we see pieces of string caught within the field. And so, because God showed me in visions in 2014 how the whole universe works, uh, on an energy scale, I've been able to apply double helix energy theory to anything. And this again shows that work that I've done years ago, several years ago, um, completely confirms what I've said now, that there are waves around the sun and they draw in matter to create spheres as I've shown on a magnet with ferrofluid. Um, so yeah, I'd just like to thank God for giving me the correct information to be able to expli explain uh, pretty much everything on earth and space. Thanks very much. My name is Lee, I follow the Christ, and I tell you and show you all the things that he showed me. Thanks a lot.